I would verify uh, the order for the patient, then I would wash my hands before, during, and after the procedure. Um, then I would um, verify the facility policy. Then I would um, assemble my s supplies and equipment, and if I'm using equipment, I would check the manufacturer's recommendations. Um, then I would knock on the patient's door, identify them using two identifiers, um, note the overall condition of the patient, um, explain the procedure and provide for privacy. Then I would uh, brace the bed for good body mechanics, which I've already done that. Um, and then um, I would don PPE if indicated. Um, and then when I was done, I would lower the bed, place the call light within reach, and raise the side rails. Um, and if there are any abnormal findings, I would notify the charge nurse. So um, first I would uh, put the patient in a comfortable position and clean the peri area, which I've already done that. Um, I would um, only have exposed what needs to be exposed for the procedure. Um, now I'm going to open my straight cath tray. I'm going to make sure it's all intact and it's all in date. Pull it out. If my patient could uh, lift up, I would have them lift up a little. Uh, This one out, throw it away, take my gloves out, not touching anything else, put them over here. Um, okay, and now I'm going to put on my serial gloves. So check the date on these and make sure they're good. My hands are sterile. Uh, I'm gonna set the cup right here. I'm gonna take uh, my cotton swabs and open them. Um, set them right here, and then um, I would open the lube. I'm not actually gonna do it. But I would open the lube and stick the end of the catheter down in there and set it in here like this. Um, um, here's the um, sticker for the or the label for my cup. So I would make sure that uh, the patient's name and the date and time and all that was correct on it. Verify it with the patient. So now I'm going to clean, I'm going to start from the urethra, I'm going to pull the foreskin back if they're not circumcised, and I'm just going to clean in a circular mo motion all the way down, and then 
not crossing my sterile field, I would throw those away. I'm going to do this three times. Scoot this up. Okay. Set my cup here. Place the end of the catheter right here. This hand is contaminated. So now I'm going to insert the tip of the catheter into the urethra. Um, I'm going to ask the patient to bear down and they're going to feel some pressure. And I'm going to insert it until um, I get urine and once I get urine I um, will go another couple centimeters. Hold it right here. I'm going to uh, fill my sample cup with urine and then go ahead and move it out of the way over here and let the patient finish uh, voiding. Once he's done, um, I'll tell him he's going to feel some more pressure and then I will pull the catheter out. And I would fold my gloves up and take them off then when I took the catheter off. gloves back on, um, put the lid on the urine sample and check and verify the name and birth date one more time um, and then throw all this stuff away and uh, do peri care one more time.